Hey, you two certainly seem close today. Close as I've ever seen you. Oh, hey, Ozuki. Fancy meeting you here. Drop the act, sis. You slipped out again, didn't you? I couldn't help it. The hospital's so boring. And now I'm doubly glad I slipped out, to be frank. And why's that? Because I got to see the two musketeers together again, just like old times. Oh, yeah. Well, you helped make it possible, so thanks. Wonderful. Knowing that frees me of my one last regret. Whoa, what are you talking about, last regret? That sounds downright grim. I mean what I said. Someday, this repeating day will stop repeating, and I will move forward with no regrets. Like in that one movie. Sis. Though I will say, if all of this has just been a delusion, I'm going to be very sad. This a delusion? You really think so? Well, you never know. You two getting back together? Hell, you two growing up into young men? Could all be a fantasy, and that would just be far too sad. Yeah, I guess it would. Oh, buck up. There's no need for that sour look on your face. Even if it is a delusion, this happiness is as real as it gets. How can you be so happy all the time? Well, I've been watching this town through the window in my hospital room for a long time now. Watching Akihabara and the way it bustles with people, overflows with emotions, and I want to play here again, with you and Asahi, just like old times. That was what I wished for as I stared out the window at all of these busy souls. So even if this is a delusion, I choose to make it a happy one, because my wish, my delusion, has come true. One way or another. Your wish? Your delusion? Why did you ever make that wish? Why would you have ever wished for anything at all? It's all your fault. Huh? Asahi, are you alright? You look so pale all of a sudden. I I'm fine. I'm just not used to waking up this early, that's all. That's not good, Asahi. Waking up early is good for both the body and the soul. Anyway, I suppose I'll let you boys get on with doing boy stuff. Make sure you get some rest, okay? Oh, Mizuki, don't be such a square. You're still on the mend, so you need to be extra careful. Our parents have been worried about you, you know? Fine, fine. I'll be good. And you take good care of Asahi, Mizuki. Huh? Me? And you take good care of Mizuki, Asahi. Huh? Me? And let's all get together sometime. All three of us. And paint the town, shall we? Bye-bye for now. Is something different about Hasaki? I don't think so. She seemed just as whimsical as ever to me. Hmm. Anyway, we should rendezvous at the fairy tale delusion scape. I'm pretty sure the others will be there by now.
It's hardly worth saying at this point, but you're late. What were you two doing, anyway? Um, walking, I guess. So we're the last ones here, huh? You're all ready to roll, I take it? <laughs> I was born ready. I got a full eight hours of sleep, so I'm good to go. Let's do this. We're the only ones who can stop Cannon. <sighs> hmm? Hey, uh, Asahi? Earth to Asahi? Are you gonna cap off our big hero moment with something here? Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. All right, let's get this show on the road. Headed into the delusion scape? I will uh, keep watch outside. Yeah. Something important is about to happen to us. Hey, what's this place? This is Satobukia. It's a shop that sells figurines. I think they also have plushies and stuff in there, too. I am not a plushie! I never said you were. You're a perverted pink pop. Plushy fans should get a restraining order against you. Yeah? Actually, what are you? Like, what's your species? What's your deal? You're kind of like a dog. You're kind of like a dinosaur. I've never seen or even heard of any other creature like you. So what are you really, Dogosaur? I'm a familiar with the storied and honorable history found in Saki's family line. Yeah, you do keep saying that. Saki, do you even have any idea what he is? Huh? Me? Is he a delusion? If so, he's a pretty weird-looking one. That's a good question, Pinkoon. Aren't you the least bit curious to know your roots? Maybe a smidge. I thought you might be. So we have our next quest, then. We go in search of Pinkoon's true origin. How the hell are we supposed to search for something like that? The same way we do every night, Pinkoon. I mean, Asahi. Legwork. We go around Akihabara and see what people say. Before moving on. This shop sells all... <sighs> Japan's fantasy industry is but a shell of its former self. I wonder if she'd know anything. She seems like she'd have a firm grasp on fantastical creatures, at least. Excuse me. But would you happen to know what kind of species this character here is? Hmm? Character? This character! With two thumbs and a... Well, actually, I guess I don't have thumbs. <gasps> a fairy? There we go! I'm a fairy! No, you absolutely aren't. You do have a strange aura to qualify as fae. Traditional fantasy may not include creatures such as you. So, not a fairy. You do speak, though. And perhaps you can speak in strange tongues, the likes of which the world has never heard. I like Japanese. What other languages have you mastered? Uh, I don't know. Oh, how unfortunate. You're rather ordinary. Very unfair. In truth, I grow weary.